Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and I've got a new tool here. This is the RD Battery 101 by Topton. It's a digital battery tester, and you can do a cranking test with this unit and a charging test to tell the state or condition of your battery. Okay guys, we're gonna show you how the tool works. So we'll take our positive lead, connect that, and our negative lead, we'll connect that. That lights up the tool. You don't need any batteries in the tool. Once you connect it to a 12 volt battery, it gets its power. Um, our language is gonna be English. This test is in the vehicle. And this is before the battery's been charged because I didn't charge it for anything. Although I did just mow with this tractor. Uh, select the type, it's a flooded battery and select the cold cranking amps so if you look on the battery right here it says that this one's 230 so it's already set like you could go up or down as needed so okay and we're already testing the battery and we'll take a close look here at what it says the battery is 13.02 volts State of health is 100%. Um, state of charge, 98%. 230 uh, amps is what it's rated for. I guess it has 315 amps, cold cranking amps, and it's telling me we have a good battery. Next test that, you, that we can do on this thing is a cranking test. We're gonna see how long it actually takes to start. The next test that we're gonna do is a cranking test. So we got to start out here by uh, turning on the engine and this test is calculated by the unit by seeing how long it takes for the engine to crank and start. So I'm going to quick turn on the car here. Just bear with me a second. Sorry about that. I'm going to get you over here. RPM detected it says. Now it's running the test and it's analyzing how long it actually took to crank. So the cranking's normal, it had 10.5 volts. It took 2,624 milliseconds to actually start. And uh, I think anything over 9.6 volts is uh, good. So we'll move on to the next test, which is a charging test. And you can see the, the cranking is a little bit low. It's at 8.38 volts. Um, so, and that's probably because the battery's only at about 60%. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty uh, effective tool. Um, let's do the charging test. I'll quick start it again. So it'll run this test, and this charging test is actually a test on the uh, alternator in the vehicle, whether or not it's uh, working properly and charging the battery. So it's going through, it's testing, and what it says here is that it's charging normal. The load test on a battery, it's 14.28 volts, so that's good. If it's not loaded, it's 14.46. Ripple, the ripple has to do with uh, diodes in the system. So if there's diodes in the wiring and it detects a problem, it does this ripple test, and that'll determine if you have a, a bad diode and current's flowing through it the wrong way. So it looks like I'm going to have to replace this battery and uh, it's not too bad. It's been in here probably about four or five years um, and it's pretty much my everyday vehicle. Anyhow guys, this unit as I said is the RV Battery 101 and it's made by Topton and I'll put a link down below if you're interested in getting yourself a digital battery tester. and. Uh, it looks like a, a real good unit to me. I've used it a couple times already and I really like it. No uh, reading analog needles or anything like that. So thanks for watching guys and let me know what you think. Take care.